So what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about our second and third day in Denver. Well, it wasn't really Denver. We left Denver to go to Beaver Creek. We drove, what, two hours or so from Denver to go skiing in Beaver Creek, which was really interesting for me because I hadn't skied in 30 plus years. And, well, I wanted her to learn and love to ski because I love it too. So that way we can take the opportunity to go together and the kids. Yeah, I did. And shockingly, I really, really enjoyed it. So we get to Beaver Creek. You know, we rent our equipment, put it on and everything. As soon as we get there, he starts giving me ski lessons, like the basics. Wait, wait, wait. So we got there, right? And we hired the best ski coach ever. It was me. <laughs> um, I ended up loving it. It was amazing. So like, yeah, after the first like 20 minutes of me falling on my butt constantly every two seconds, I was able to stay, stand up and mm -hmm. we went up the lift and I started going down the green, the green slopes. I don't even know what the terminology is. Yeah, green, green slope. <laughs> I taught her a couple of lessons and yeah, she made it all the way down. We took the lift back and then she made the whole ride without falling which was amazing. I remember this uh, moment when I stopped just to enjoy the view down the mountain. You can see the valley. It was beautiful, right? And then I turned around and Marisa was trying to look at the valley, but because she didn't know how to, the orientation works, she was facing the other way. So she was like, <laughs> I was filming it, right? And I was like, oh, Marisa, you have to see this. And she was like, basically facing back and turning the head like, oh yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> One of the things that we did at the ski resort is we stopped for lunch at one of the lodges that they have right in the middle of the slopes. And it was super expensive. <laughs> I think the burgers were like, like $30. It was, a it was like worse than McDonald's. Right, and size-wise was small, and it was thirty bucks. It was no, the crazy. Food wasn't that bad. It just it was expensive. I mean, it wasn't like a renowned burger. No, you know, like it wasn't for thirty bucks. I can go to better places. Yeah, we were paying for the for the location, which yeah. was beautiful. I have to admit. Absolutely. Another cool thing that we saw it was uh, after skiing, we tour a little bit the bottom of the of the resort. Well, which is like like a village. Yeah, it's like a ski village, like some really cute shops and restaurants mm -hmm. and places to buy really expensive ski gear. They had this uh, ice ski ring and a band playing with a big fire pit. It was, it was beautiful. So after uh, visiting the villa, we drove down the mountain to uh, the bed and breakfast where we stayed the night. This was in a town, a little town, I think it was like nestled between Beaver Creek and Vale, correct? Mm -hmm. Called Minturn. Mm -hmm. So we were just at the bed and breakfast for a few minutes before we decided it was time to eat. You know, we just checked out this place that we drove by when we were when we were getting to our bed and breakfast. It looked like a cute little saloon, so we, we went in there. It was called the Minturn Saloon. Mm -hmm. And we had one of the most stupid conversations that we ever had <laughs> happened sometimes because we have miscommunications due to my weird accent it's not a weird accent in spain the v and the b they sound exactly the same we don't differentiate them however we still use them like when you're writing right why i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Everything should be a B for us. So what happened is that there was this long table with, I don't know, maybe like 40 people. And then Marisa asked me like, who is these people? And then I turned around and I thought like, oh, these people must be from the band. Remember that we mentioned that when we visited the Beaver's Creek Village, we saw a band there, right? So she thought I was talking about the same band. What I was trying to say is that these people are from the band that I saw outside park in the parking lot. Which leads to another reason it was a miscommunication because there was no vans out there. There Sorry. was two buses. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I thought I was losing my mind because he saw two bands outside. First of all, it's like the middle of nowhere. It's snowing. 
there's nobody else around. So I'm like, how is it that this man saw two bands and I saw none? We had dinner there. It was good. And the place was, as Marisa mentioned, it, it was a cool place, like a old style salon rustic. So let's rate it. So live, which is the food for restaurants, mm -hmm. I would say is 6.5. It was good. Mm -hmm. Like nothing to write home about. All right. Love, service. The love, the service was... Seven? Good. Yeah, they were very friendly. Yeah. And design? Design, I'd give it like a 6.5. I mean, it's what you'd expect. It's like, it, yeah. it's what we wanted, actually. Like when you're going to a ski resort, you want that cozy feel, like the fireplace and all that. Mm-hmm. Well... If you like what you see, please subscribe. Push here, or here, or I don't know. Whatever it says subscribe, just push I it. I think they get it, babe. After that, um, we went to bed, obviously. And uh, the next morning, we had breakfast at the bed and breakfast where we stayed, which was delicious. We met the manager. She was lovely. And she uh, made us breakfast. It was really good. It, oh my gosh, that breakfast was delicious. Mm -hmm. Right, let's rate it. So live? Seven? Yeah. It was, it was good. I mean, it was very comfortable. Yeah. Pretty it was place. nice. Love? 8.5. Yeah. I mean, the service was great. Mm -hmm. She was really nice. And then design? Design? I'd give it a solid seven. Again, it's, yeah. you know, it's kind of rustic and charming and, you know, nothing cutting edge, but... Pretty much what you want when you're at a ski resort, right? Yeah. Cozy. After uh, we left the bed and breakfast, we walk around the town just to take a taste of whatever they had around. Yes, we checked out some of the little shops. They have like a cute little antique shop and like a leather shop, which actually coincidentally is owned by the, the husband mm -hmm. and the manager mm -hmm. of the, um, the Minturn Inn. And so, yeah, we just checked out the scene a little bit and then you hopped in the car and decided to check out Vail, mm -hmm. which is like five minutes away or so. Yeah. And when we got to Vail, we we went to the resort and went to some of the shops. It's such a beautiful resort. It's same as like Beaver Creek. It's like a whole village, all these upscale boutiques and restaurants and just super duper charming. And obviously it's scenery of Vail, like as a backdrop, it's beautiful place to spend yeah an afternoon. absolutely it was beautiful we enjoyed it and uh we got to see a lot of uh small shops right okay so then we left Vail and drove what about two hours it is yeah. back to denver airport mm -hmm. so we had to head back to philly we returned our car and went to the airport Let's play the airport. Let's talk about a little bit of the airport. Oh, I think yeah. it was an interesting building. The same way, uh, it's not like the typical... I mean, all the airports usually are far from the cities, right? But they always have some sort of uh, infrastructure around. This one is, it was really is isolated. There was the airport and that's it, right? So the interesting thing about this airport is the roof, which is made of this uh, tense structure formed by a plastic membrane, kind of like a fabric. It's used usually for exterior covers like a canopy or... Like a tent. Like a tent, stuff like that. But they use it for the whole roof, which I thought it was interesting because the problem with it is basically uh, it doesn't have any insulation on it. But Denver has a very dry climate. That helps a lot because with the help of the AC, you basically can regulate the temperature inside of the terminal. However, I'm not sure how much money they have to use because you depend 100% on the AC instead of having an insulation an insulation on your roof. It is unique, it's it's uh, it's nice. However, my only point is that I don't know if it works well with the uh, mechanical system. Nerd alert. So, you know, the airport was nice. Um, we liked it. We stayed, we were in the Amex lounge for a little while because it closed at five mm -hmm. or four. It closed early and then shouldn't have been a problem. However, our flight was canceled because there was a big snowstorm in Philly, well, all over the East Coast. Oh, yeah. That night. Mm hmm. Which was also a big problem because my daughter's birthday was the next day and I couldn't miss, we couldn't miss that. We couldn't get a flight to Philly, so we found a flight to DC, a red eye to <laughs> DC. So essentially, we were in the airport, what, until midnight when we, when our flight was. Mm hmm. 
And by the way, Amex Lounge in Denver Airport. Why do you close at 6 p.m.? Please, are you kidding me? But anyway, we found that there was another lounge open, the United Lounge. Yeah, and we stayed there till we took mm -hmm. off. Although we had to pay for the United Lounge, it was completely worth it because we could have dinner and some drinks, which at the end, when you go to a restaurant, uh, they're gonna charge you exactly or more of what you have when you're in the, in the lounge. So finally we took off and we landed in Washington DC. I think it was like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. in the morning. It was cold and dark. We went to the uh, car rental place and rented a car to drive from DC to Philadelphia. And when we get back, when we got to Philly, you took a nap for what? Half a day. And I had to plan a party for 20-ish oh, yeah. people true. that came over That's that true. night. That's true and spent the night, so. Well, we had a blast in Denver. And it was a great trip. Other out. than the flight back home, uh, which is, it wasn't any company uh, problem or fault, right? And we had fun at the party that night despite being overtired. Oh yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching us again and adios. Ciao.